creation tradition of you know lifting up the heavens and expansion from that point of creation. Uh, we have the hawk element there. Um, you have the hooks in the wings to help find the land because the kite doesn't go too far from land. You can follow it into the land. The center diamond within a diamond that is Bag Bagak as the morning star. It's a wayfinding star and the father-in-law of Rapo Nikolau, aka one of the pseudonyms of Maui or the Maui. And um, and so this is a uh, this is our creation symbol. This design through here, you'll see that there is a centipede, a gaiaman, within the design itself. But this portion right here is, according to our Hawaiian and Maori cousins, uh, this is a Tagalog design uh, found on the pottery. We do not have a name for it, per se. Uh, there is a somewhat similar design down south called Siklag Siklag, which means fish bones, but uh, they say it is the spine of the eel, and it is uh, a genealogical symbol. Uh, and they give it to people who hold uh, a family's genealogy together, who, are, who keep that within their memory. Mm -hmm. And that's what you do. Uh, you've done a lot of research. But you can see that the the spines that come off here, they form into the legs of the centipede, the Gaiaman, which is a warrior symbol. And uh, based on what you told me about your family, as well as um, uh, you're, you're a practitioner of, of martial arts. Then here, along this side, we have a double buaya design. The open triangle are the teeth of the crocodile. And that's also a symbolism of, you know, ferocity, power to bite others, to protect this genealogy within here. Yeah. But um, the crocodile also is a very good parent to their young. They hold the children in their jaws. Uh, the, the, sometimes the, the young crocodiles will swim back into the mouth of the crocodile well, mother or father uh, for protection. And so I just... Uh, gave you these teeth so that you could have both of those symbolisms of being not just uh, aggressive but also protective and nurturing. Um, here we have uh, ilog design or a river design. It's found in multiple regions but uh, this is for your Tagalog ancestry. This ulan design is specifically from the Tagalog region. The, these uh, little dash marks. And that's to symbolize you know, going through adversity and weathering the storm, so to speak. Um, and it's again part of our old seafaring traditions. Um, the Gaiaman, uh, and this is, you know, gospel according to Ling, my extrapolation, is also representative of canoe travel, because if you ever see people, you know, row paddling in a canoe, it looks like a giant centipede going through the water. And um, then here we have some of those wayfinding birds as well that it's trying to capture, i.e. get to the shore, mm -hmm. um, get to land. And so there's a lot of maritime references within here. Uh, the crocodile itself, um, the, just the spines that are within the teeth there symbolize the crocodile in its submerged state, uh, suggesting to the mind that the ancestor is present but not seen, just like the crocodile. And the crocodile is like I told you uh, earlier, I shared with you earlier about how uh, we used to feed the flesh of the dead to crocodiles to create crocodile gods, so to speak, or, or an embodiment of our ancestors that we could physically see and venerate. All that is is um, things to remember when it comes to this particular pattern. Thank you so, so much. Yeah, it's your Ilocano and your Tagalog lineage.